Hey guys, in this video, we'll go over every one of the new sales, RNG boxes, and packs in the Pearl store and see which items are worth it to get. This video will mostly be for people who are curious on what the value of the RNG boxes and packs are and newer players who want to know what's worth it to spend their pearls on. This week is right after the Heidel Ball, so there are a lot of sales still running that were released last week. If you want to know more about any of the sales that happened last week, I have a video on that week that will be linked below. The one huge sale I will mention is that the 1 plus 1 pearl packs are still being sold for 13 more days, so if you are buying pearls, then this pack is going to be pretty good value. Other than that though, this video will just be on the new items released this week. The first item we'll go over is of course the RNG box pack that is being sold this week, the Mystery Outfit Box. This is an interesting box that only contains Krons, Outfits, or Artisan's Memories. We'll quickly go over what the real value of the box is with the sales for this week. Basically, to find the real value of the box, we just get the value of each item in the box, the chance to get that item, and with those numbers, we find the average pearls you will get every time you open this box. Keep in mind that this is just the average amount of pearls every time you open one box, you can get more or less. For this box, we found it to have an average pearl value of 1,992 pearls. The base cost for each box is 1,300 pearls. Every time you open this box, you have a 75% chance to get an item that is worth less than 1,300 pearls, and a 25% chance of getting an item that is worth more. If you want a more in-depth analysis, I will have another video specifically for this box, which you can look at if you're interested in that. The Mystery Outfit Box Packs also include the Mythical Cronstone Bundle, which has a base price of 200 pearls and has an average pearl value of 374 pearls. Again, same thing with the Mystery Outfit Box, I will have another video that explains more in depth the average value of this box. So moving on to the packs that they have for sale, they have one pack that is being sold for a full price of 2600 pearls for two Mystery Outfit Boxes and two Mystical Cronstone Bundles. The mystery boxes give an average of 1,992 pearls and the Cronstone bundles 374, so in total on average, this pack would be worth 4,732 pearls with a cost of 2,600 pearls. This gives the 2 times pack on average a discount equivalence of 45%, which means that if you buy this pack, on average you will basically be buying outfits, crons, and artisans at 45% off. The weekly outfit sale puts outfits at 30% off and most sales sell outfits at 50% or more. In fact, there are still sales running from the Heidel Ball that has outfits, crons, and artisans at 50% off. In general though, this pack isn't going to be worth it on average. I will talk a bit more about the worth of the mystery outfit packs after I talk about the 6 times pack that is on sale for 20% off. The next pack on sale is the 6x Mystery Outfit Box that contains 6 Mystery Outfits and 6 Mystical Cronstone Bundles. The interesting thing about this pack is that there is an additional 20% off sale for the entire pack. Because the base price of Pearl Boxes are generally lower than the average pearls you get, having a sale on the boxes can make a pretty big difference. The total value from 6 Mystery Outfit Boxes and 6 Mystical Cronstone Bundles is 14,196 pearls, and the entire pack is being sold on the Pearl Store for 6,240 pearls. This gives the 6x Mystery Outfit Box a discount equivalence of 56.05%. That is honestly not bad for RNG boxes. With that being said though, I really don't like the Mystery Outfit Boxes, and would generally recommend players not to get them. With the boxes that give pure crons, PA really loves to skew the numbers negatively, which means that most of the time when you open the box, you're getting an item that is really low value. Even though the average pearl value of this box is 1,992 pearls, if we look at the rates 75% of the time, you are either getting 35 artisans memories, which is worth 700 pearls, or 250 crons, which is worth 856 pearls. This is a lot lower than even the base cost of the box. If you get the 6 times pack, you have a 17.8% chance to open all 6 boxes and get a lower value item in all 6 boxes. Again, even if you get the average pearl value, it's only a 56% discount equivalence for the 6 times pack, which is comparable to some of the outfit sales that are being sold on the pearl store right now and give a guaranteed 50% off. 
even considering it is an RNG box, these RNG box packs are gonna be specifically for people who really love high rolling and RNG. For those people who like RNG a little but don't really like high risk, I would recommend not getting this pack. But if you do have a lot of extra pearls and just simply like RNG, it's not a bad average value pack per se. Again, I will go more in depth on this pack in my video specifically made for this pack, so watch out for that if you're interested to know more about this pack. Now that we've finished going over the RNG boxes, let's go back to the start of the Pearl Store and look at other things that are new this week. One huge announcement is that they are releasing most of the limited summer outfits for permanent sale on the Pearl Store. These outfits of course will be sold at full price, but they will no longer be limited to during just summer or summer events, and can be bought year round. This is a great thing that PA is doing as it removes the sense of fake limited rush that people get when they see a limited outfit. Next up, the headline item is the Doza pre-release pack that is going to be sold until July 3rd when Doza comes out. This is a pretty cool new pack that contains an item with a special message about Doza that is mostly roleplay, Doza's classic outfit, a 30 day value pack, a celestial horse calling horn, 16 inventory slots, and a character expansion coupon. It also contains a choice outfit box. I would assume that Doza can use these outfits, but you never know so be careful with that. There is a small but non-zero chance that Doza won't be able to use these outfits right on release. On top of that, we get a bonus title, Master of Clouds, that can only be obtained from this pack. If you really love the title, this is the only chance to get this pack, but in general, titles aren't really going to be very useful. We also get a 20% discount coupon and an 80 stack. In terms of total pearl value, for the non-bonus items, PA is correct in that all the items add up to a 10,900 pearl value. For the bonus items, the title has no real value or the message for buying the Doza pre-release pack. I would say that a 20% discount coupon is worth around 400 to 800 pearls, and the 80 advice of Valks being around 550 pearls. That gives the total pack to be worth 12,050 pearls, and it is being sold at 7,630 pearls and gives it a discount equivalence of 36.68% off. Most of the items being sold in this pack aren't going to be very special, and often are put on a 50% off discount or more. If we take the total value of the pack, 12,050 pearls, and put it on a 50% discount, it would be 6,025 pearls. That means that when you do buy this pack, you're basically paying a 1,600 pearl premium as it is being sold for 7,630 pearls. However, do keep in mind that there are limited items that may warrant that price premium. You do get a special title, Master of Clouds, and the ability to use the Azira Sky Classic Outfit Box Set on release. The outfit set may be obtainable from Event Classic Outfit Boxes, but there is no guarantee. For some players, paying a 1600 pearl premium for the title, outfit, and the ability to get all the other items can honestly be really worth it, it just depends on whether you like the title and are going to make a new character to take advantage of the horse flute, new outfit, and character slots. Again, this pack isn't good because of its pearl value, rather just because it has a limited title in it. Now that you know the numbers, you'll just have to see if it's worth it to you. The next packs are just going to be the basic weekly sales that will usually last for 2 weeks instead of the 1 week that the Doza pack lasts for. The first pack is the Enhancement Support Set which gives either 50 Artisans or 330 Krons for 675 Pearls. You also get a bonus of 10 Memory Fragments. Krons is going to be the highest pearl value choice as if you choose Krons, the pack will be worth 1180 Pearls and have a discount equivalence of 42.78%. If you choose the Artisans, the pack will be worth 1,060 pearls and have a 36.32% discount. This is pricing Artisans at 20 pearls each, which is obviously most of the time what they are going to be worth. However, if you do buy Artisans one at a time, they could be more worth to you. In general, there's really nothing that special about this pack, it's just Krons and Artisans at 40% off. The Heidel Ball deals are better than this, so I really don't see a reason to get this pack. Next up is the 2024 Halfway Outfit Pack. This pack includes many of the different 2200 basic outfits that they have released recently. You are able to choose 3 and the entire pack is 30% off, going from 6600 pearls to 4620 pearls. 
Honestly, they have released some banger outfits, so if you've missed any or want some extra outfits for other characters, this pack can be pretty nice at 30% off for the 2200 basic outfits is pretty good. These outfits don't always go on sale since most of the time big sales are catered towards Krons, which is usually 2900 classic outfits or the 3400 premium outfits. Again, this is purely cosmetic, but if you like some of the outfits and want multiple, this is a pretty decent deal. The Four Seasons Outfit Pack is the same idea, but instead you are choosing two outfits from a different pool of outfits. Again, some of these outfits can look amazing, and it is also at a discount of 30% off, going from 4,400 pearls to 3080 pearls. It is the exact same idea, a decent deal, and for purely cosmetic items, pretty good. These packs last until July 17th, which is in 3 weeks, unlike the other packs in this video. I would also say that if you are making a Doza, you can wait until it gets released next week to see if these outfits work on that character. Sometimes PA does add new classes with the new outfits, but sometimes they simply don't. After the outfits is the triple maid pack, this is just 3 maids for 33% off. In general, maids are put on sale very often and can go upwards of 50% off or more. This really isn't very enticing and I would recommend most people to skip it unless for some reason they are very desperate for maids. Maids are one of those items that just go on sale almost every month or big event. The next pack is the trading pack that is allegedly worth 1,040 pearls, being sold for 624 pearls at a 40% discount. Most of the value of the 1,040 pearls is the 22 1 hour extra mount XP scrolls which is on the pearl store is 400 pearls for 11 scrolls. I don't see why you wouldn't just get the 10 hour scrolls for 120 pearls each as you would basically save 280 pearls and only lose 1 hour. I have never personally bought these so maybe they stack but I honestly doubt that they do. Again, if you just buy 4 10 hour scrolls instead at full price, that would only cost 480 pearls which is cheaper than this pack. The only reason I could see that you buy this pack is if you want the bonus items of Corsair's Aura. These should last 5 hours and give 30% XP instead of the 20% from the scrolls in the main pack. In general though, I don't see a reason in buying extra amount XP, as training is mostly done super AFK or overnight, and multiple days if you are a trainer, so spending pearls on temporary buffs does, doesn't really seem very high value. However, if you do have a lot of pearls and are an experienced trainer, you would know more than I do. So feel free to pick up this pack if it seems good to you. The next pack is the Dream Horse Awakening pack, and if you include the special Dream Horse Awakening mats, it's worth about 2,763 pearls, and since it costs 1,707 pearls, it is about a 38.22% discount. In general, this pack is lacking anything that is super unique or useful, as mount skill change coupons can be bought on sale very often at 50% or more, and the rest of the items like crons or the enhancement mats can be easily bought for silver or on sale. There is really nothing that's interesting about this pack in my opinion, and I would suggest most players avoid it. Next up is the backpack bundle 40 slots and 80 slots. The 40 slot backpack bundle is on sale for 2775 pearls and its value is 3625 pearls, giving it a discount of 23.45% off. The 80 slot pack is on sale for 30% off with a value of 7,250 pearls and it costs 5,075 pearls. In general, I really don't think that inventory expansion slots are worth it anymore after a bunch of the QOL improvements, Magnus, and the base inventory slots you get from Seasons. I would say that for most things, you can easily get by on a character with no additional slot expansions. On top of that, this isn't even really that crazy of a sale, with inventory slots being put on sale pretty often and especially a lot during season events. I would recommend that for most people not to get this pack, but if for some reason you are super starved for inventory slots, it is better than buying them at full price. Next up is the weight packs 1 and 2, both being sold for 25% off. I would say that for most people, weight is going to be more important than inventory slots, as it allows them to grind or life skill for a bit longer without having to horse stack or go to storage. It may not be required, but it is nice to have. 25% off is a bit of a minor sale, with some weight sales being 30 to 35% off that I remember. But honestly, 25% off is honestly not that bad if you are super weight starved. I would say that if you find yourself needing weight, this is a fine sale to buy weight on. 
They also have a plus 400 weight being sold. This doesn't usually have a sale attached unless it's part of a pack, so if you really need a lot of weight, you can also pick this up. Again, not the biggest weight sale that I've seen, but if you need weight, it's better than buying it at full price. I will warn people that often weight is the biggest expense in BDO, as it only increases weight on one character, and if you play another character, you'll need to rebuy the weight. Just be careful how much you spend on weight. Next up is a Napheart campsite being sold for 20% off. The campsite is a pretty cool thing as it is a permanent account upgrade that will last forever and can be used on any character you make. You are able to repair your gear, get villa buff, and use the tent store to buy drop buffs and pots. I do have a video that talks about how to use the tent free to play, but the paid tent is definitely a lot of QOL and does allow you to buy villa buffs anywhere. A 20% off discount is pretty good, but not the biggest that I remember. However, the campsite doesn't go on sale too often, so it can be fine to pick it up and get the value of using it now rather than waiting for a bigger sale. Again, campsite is usually what people recommend getting, as it is a permanent account upgrade that's pretty nice quality of life. Next up is the basic sale of almost all weight, not including the 400 weight and all inventory slots being sold for 20% off. Again, this is the same idea as the packs, it is just a little worse value, but includes more items. I will say that inventory slots is not as valuable as weight, but still be careful not to overspend as it's only for one character. Finally is the Adventure Style, which is a large scale release of a lot of the Outfit of the Day winners. They don't have a custom price or dies for this release, so it's really just going to be based on whether you like the certain outfits that a player has curated. These outfit packs contain pieces from different packs, so it can be a more convenient than buying multiple outfit sets. If you include the value pack, these packs are about 26 to 27% off, so it's not a bad deal. Again, this is only really if you like the look of the custom outfits. That's basically it for this video. There are a lot of interesting packs getting released this week, including the RNG boxes and the Doza pre release pack. A lot of the rest of the packs get a bit overshadowed by the Heidel Ball deals. And even then, those aren't really that great. Again, as I said in the beginning of this video, the OnePlus One Pearl packs are still running, so those are generally the best way to get pearls, so I would recommend checking them out. Don't feel like you have to spend the pearls you get from the OnePlus One packs though, as you can always save them up for future events. I will have the Deep Dive RNG Boxes video out soon, so keep your eyes out for that. Again, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all next time.